What happens when we die? It's human nature to wonder what happens at the moment we take our final breath. Do we go to heaven? Do we go to hell? Does our consciousness just cease to exist? In this video, I'm going to talk about what happens when we die. And stay tuned to the end because I'm going to give you some tips on how you can prepare for that moment. Now, I do want to note that the wisdom in this video is not mine. It's not from my experience. It's what I've learned from the teachings of spiritual masters, and I've especially drawn from Paramahamsa Pragyanananda and Paramahamsa Yogananda for this video. Before I get into what actually happens, I need to talk about the three bodies that encapsulate our soul. We have a gross body, we have an astral body, and we have a causal body. Our gross body is in the world of protons, neutrons, and electrons. That's our body that's walking on Earth, that eats and sleeps and talks and exists on Earth. We also have an astral body. This is our life force that powers the gross body. So similar to how electricity powers a light bulb, our astral body gives the life force that powers the gross body. And we also have a causal body. The causal body carries the essence of our being. That's our thoughts, our tendencies, our habits, and our karma. And it's the existence of a causal body that keeps us in the cycle of birth and rebirth. At the moment of death, when we leave the physical body, we lose consciousness of the physical body and we gain consciousness of the astral world. It's similar to waking up from a dream. You look back and you say, wow, I was just a spirit having a human experience. Now, we no longer have a physical body, but we do have a light astral body and it maintains a similar appearance, but a more youthful appearance as we did in our life on earth. Also, because we have a light body and no longer a physical body, we don't have disease, sickness, illness, and, and health. However, when you die, you don't immediately go to heaven and you don't immediately go to hell. If you're an angel on earth, you go to a higher astral plane. And if you lived a negative life, you're attracted to a lower vibrational astral plane. Similar to how there are more desirable and beautiful places to live on earth, and there's also less desirable and unpleasant places to live on earth, the astral world has the same types of vibratory planes. Now, what's important is that while we no longer have a physical body, our thoughts, our mind, our habits, our tendencies, our memories travel with us from the physical body to the astral plane. However you were and acted on earth, you'll be the same in the astral plane. So what can we do to improve our astral existence? The thoughts that predominate at the time of death can either bring you salvation or keep you entrapped in the cycle of rebirth. Let me explain this a little bit more. If at the time of death, your thoughts are on the higher power, love, God, the creator, your spirit will most likely stay in the astral world and not have to be reborn again on earth. However, if you have desires, those thoughts are going to impinge themselves on your spirit and keep you trapped in the cycle of birth and rebirth on earth. So you need to reduce your desires because your desires create action, which creates your karma. I have another video that talks about karma in more detail. So any karma that you have keeps you in the cycle of birth and rebirth. So until your karma is either lived out or it's burned, you're going to keep being born on earth. So how do you get rid of your karma? Well, meditation is a great practice that burns the seeds of karma before they ever have a chance to sprout. So deep meditators not only burn their karma, but they reduce their desires and help their advancement of their spirit from the gross world to the astral world, all the way to the causal world. And then once you leave, you're no longer being born in this gross plane, then you have a birth and rebirth cycle between the astral and the causal worlds. Now this video barely scratches the surface of the topic, what happens when we die. I wanna recommend a few books that I have found incredibly helpful. The first is Autobiography of a Yogi by Paramahansa Yogananda. This book has been translated into close to 20 languages. It's sold millions and millions of copies, and it's changed my life. And specifically, chapter 43 of this book talks about what happens when we die. Here's another more uh, lighthearted approach, The Afterlife of Billy Fingers. And a book I don't have a copy of here. It's called Dying to Be Me by Anita Morjani. That's a fantastic book that I recommend. Also, if you want a more lighthearted approach to life, I recommend The Complete, Calvin and Hobbes. I absolutely love this series. Links to all these books are in the description below. Please like this video, 
share it. And if you want to learn more, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.